nak? Awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Hai semua. So, jom kita sambung chapter 10 discussion untuk bahagian yang ketiga under application of standing wave. Okay. So, dalam subtopik ini kita akan lihat three application of standing wave under stretch string which is the string with fixed end. And the second one, we will discuss about a column in open part. And the last one, we are going to discuss about a column in closed pipe. So, ada tiga ya, iaitu stretch string, open pipe dan juga closed pipe. Okay, so jom kita mulakan dengan application of standing wave yang pertama iaitu stretch string. Jadi, berdasarkan gambar rajah di bawah ini merupakan contoh Standing wave produced in a stretch string. Okay, so here we have three patterns of the standing wave produced in a string. And sebelum kita discuss dengan lebih lanjut about the equation of the frequency or the wavelength of the standing wave, so make sure you know that when one end of the stretch string is vibrate, so jika salah satu hujung string itu vibrate, so, dia akan produce a traveling wave, okay, that move along the string. And what happened to the traveling wave bila dia travel sampai ke hujung satu lagi and the wave will be reflected from the other end. And second point, the wave interferes with its own reflection and so a stationary wave is set up as shown in the figure. So, now based on this diagram, you can see here at both end of the string, okay, the node will produce. So, we can label all the node and anti node in the diagram. So, pastikan awak tahu bagaimana untuk label node and anti node pada standing wave yang terhasil pada string tersebut. Boleh? Alright, so now the important things that you must know about the stretch string. The equation of the speed of wave on a string is given by V equal to square root T over mu. Where T is the tension in the string and mu is the mass per unit length. Okay, so mu is equal to mass of the string M over the length of the string. Pastikan awak tahu bagaimana untuk kira V dan juga bagaimana untuk kira mu. Dan untuk stretch string, awak kena ingat di mana a stretch string can have standing wave only at certain frequency. Jadi sekarang kita akan kira pada frekuensi mana standing wave akan terhasil pada tali tersebut. Jadi kita akan mulakan dengan fundamental mode atau nama lainnya adalah first harmonic and the frequency of the fundamental mode or first harmonic can be write as F1. Jadi untuk rajah yang pertama merupakan pattern of the standing wave for fundamental mode or first harmonic. Kalau kita perhatikan betul-betul, the pattern of the segment for the fundamental mode is actually the dorayaki pattern. Saya selalu pesan pada pelajar, bentuknya macam dorayaki. Okay, so kita kena ingat for fundamental mode, the pattern of the standing wave adalah satu dorayaki. Okay, so first harmonic means that the pattern of the segment we need to draw only for one segment. So, hanya ada satu saja dorayaki bagi fundamental mode. Okay, sekarang kita beralih pula kepada panjang tali tersebut. So, let's say the length of the string is given by capital L. Okay, 
and we can label let's say from A to B is L so based on the pattern of the standing wave untuk fundamental mode kita boleh nampak dekat situ di mana pattern untuk fundamental mode adalah lambda over 2 jadi sekiranya panjang daripada A ke B adalah L and the pattern is equal to lambda over 2 so kita boleh labelkan L is equal to lambda over 2 untuk fundamental mode bagaimana pula untuk gambar rajah yang kedua yang kita namakan sebagai first over tone ataupun second harmonic di mana pada frekuensi F2 which is frekuensi of first over tone or second harmonic the second standing wave will produce in that string ok so kita boleh nampak pattern untuk second harmonic kalau nak mudah ingat first over tone is equal to second harmonic so bagaimana untuk kita lukis the pattern of the standing wave produced in a string so for second harmonic you need to draw two patterns of segment ok kalau fundamental mode tadi kita ada satu saja segment dorayaki dan untuk second harmonic kita perlu lukis dua dorayaki boleh dan dekat sini cuba kita perhatikan the pattern of standing wave produced for second harmonics so here we have two dorayakis so means that we have the first lambda over 2 here and then this is another lambda over 2 ok so daripada A ke B adalah panjang tali L jadi disebabkan the pattern of the standing wave untuk second harmonics adalah 2 kali lambda over 2 so kita boleh tulis L is equal to 2 lambda over 2 ok so at frequency of F3 the second over tone or third harmonics of the standing wave will produce so kalau dekat sini kita nampak the pattern of the standing wave untuk third harmonics iaitu tiga kali bentuk dorayaki so pastikan awak tahu bagaimana untuk lukis the pattern of the standing wave produced in the string based on the frequency ok so kita ada F1, F2 and F3 dan perlu ingat ok nama lain untuk second harmonics adalah first over tone third harmonics adalah second over tone jadi bila soalan sebut second over tone awak tahu pattern of the standing wave produced dan equation of L is equal to 3 kali lambda over 2 so kita boleh perhatikan dekat sini kita ada first lambda over 2 the second of lambda over 2 and the third lambda over 2 therefore the length of the string L from A to B is equal to 3 times lambda over 2 ok so sekarang kita akan beralih pula bagaimana untuk kita tulis equation of wavelength and frequency untuk case stretch string ok, jom kita mula ini adalah gambar yang kita discuss sebentar tadi ok, so we can start with the first one which is fundamental mode alright, which is first harmonics ok, so kita akan tulis equation wavelength lambda since L is equal to lambda over 2 therefore lambda untuk fundamental mode atau first harmonic is equal to 2L ok so we can just rearrange equation L equal to lambda over 2 dan kita akan dapat lambda is equal to 2L seterusnya untuk second harmonics ataupun first over tone based on the equation L is equal to 2 kali lambda over 2 so kita akan dapat L is equal to lambda therefore the wavelength for the second harmonics ataupun first over tone is equal to L and then for the third one since L is equal to 3 lambda over 2, rearrange that equation. So, we're going to have wavelength for second over tone or third harmonics is equal to lambda equal to 2L over 3. Okay? And how about the frequency? 
so before we derive equation of frequency for all harmonics so remember that v is equal to f lambda where v is the speed of the string and is equal to f times lambda so f is equal to v over lambda okay so since lambda is equal to 2l untuk fundamental mode tadi so kita boleh tulis f1 where 1 is stand for the number of harmonics so f1 equal to v over lambda so lambda equal to 2l Akhirnya, you dapat equation for the frequency of first harmonic is equal to F1 equal to V over 2L. Untuk yang kedua pula, kita ada second harmonics. So, F equal to V over lambda. Since lambda is equal to L, therefore, frequency of second harmonics ataupun first over tone is equal to V over L. Boleh? So, kalau kita cuba compare equation F1 and F2, you can see the pattern of the equation where we can write that F2 is actually dua kali F1. So, we can relate the equation F2 and F1 where the frequency of second harmonics mesti dua kali ganda. Frequency of first harmonic. Okay? Dan sama juga untuk third harmonics, F3, where F equal to V over lambda, but the lambda for the third harmonics is 2L over 3, therefore F3 is equal to 3V over 2L. Atau kita boleh katakan, the frequency of the third harmonics mesti tiga kali ganda frequency of first harmonics. Okay? And kita boleh buat kesimpulan dekat sini di mana. So in general, we can write that equation of the frequency for stretch string Fn is equal to Nv over 2L. Jadi kalau kita nak kira frekuensi untuk third harmonics, so F3 is equal to 3V over 2L. Ataupun kita boleh guna formula Fn equal to n f1 jika kita ada frequency of first harmonics so kita nak kira pula frequency of third harmonic for example kita boleh terus saja masukkan fn equal to n f1 di mana nilai n itu adalah the number of harmonics dan untuk stretch string the number of harmonics adalah 1 2, 3, 4, 5 dan seterusnya. Okay. So sekiranya soalan bagi awak nilai frekuensi of first harmonic, kita boleh terus kira frekuensi of third harmonic where F3 is equal to 3 times F1. Okay. Dan seterusnya untuk stretch string, jangan lupa the equation of the speed of wave in the string is V equal to square root t over mu and if we substitute v in the equation fn equal to nv over 2l finally awak akan dapat satu equation fn in terms of t and mu okay where fn for the stretch string is equal to n over 2l square root t over mu where mu is the mass per unit length of the string boleh